We live in an urbanized and urbanizing world. Because cities are concentrated sites of economic resources, political power, and human capital, they are fundamental in the global strategy to combat climate change. Cities are also places that show the material consequences of climate hazards and the stark vulnerability that deprived communities endure as a result of inequality and neglect. In their work with communities to overcome these vulnerabilities, government and civil society have to rely on a legal framework conducive to integrating climate action into territorial planning. We believe in the power of planning instruments, urban law, and multi-level governance to promote low emission urban development and to ensure that vulnerable communities can adapt to climate change and flourish. The country of Colombia has been undergoing legal reforms that aim to make climate change an overlaid dimension of multi-level urban governance and planning. UN Habitat collaborated with University of Michigan urban planning students and faculty to assess and learn from Colombia's urban legislation framework in relation to climate change. Thanks to UN Habitat's ongoing work with the Colombian government in the Urban Low Emission Development Strategies Project, or Urban LEDs, we were able to engage in a comprehensive legal analysis. Our study has been centered around the UN's Law and Climate Change Toolkit, which is an online and open database grading system designed to assist countries in building legal frameworks that are responsive to climate change. Our University of Michigan team used this toolkit, a UNFCCC, UNEP, and Commonwealth Secretariat initiative to analyze national policies and urban plans, assess existing legislation, and offer recommendations to improve national and local policies. We met regularly with the representatives of UN Habitat's national and international offices to collaborate on our analyses, update our partners on work progress, and to confirm our findings with Colombia's National Ministry of Environment and Sustainable Development and the Ministry of Housing, City, and Territory. After applying the toolkit to all the recommended climate-relevant legislation, we made several findings. Colombia's highest priorities are reducing greenhouse gas emissions through urban planning and form, making use of green space for climate services, and ensuring that development approval processes are related to climate mitigation. Colombia excel at regional planning and prioritizing as well as incentivizing strategy development for planned areas that are vulnerable to climate change. In partnership with the Alcaldía de Manizales, we assessed opportunities for biodiversity solutions to climate mitigation and adaptation strategies through the Biodiversidades Initiative. By conducting this in-depth analysis, we were able to offer recommendations for how Colombia's national legislature could better align with its international commitments to climate mitigation and adaptation. This comprehensive analysis will contribute to strengthening the climate action agenda and set the conditions for the implementation implementation of the Nationally Determined Contribution, or NDC, that center around a robust national urban policy framework. To learn more, please visit our websites.